Your liver is responsible for over 500 different functions in your body, from breaking down your fat, breaking down your nutrients, to detoxing your body, eliminating waste products, regulating blood levels, and protecting your body from infections. It's the front line of your body for infections. It really does a lot for your body, and you need to keep your master organ in tip-top shape if you want the rest of your body to be healthy. But in my experience, most people don't pay any attention to their liver, and they just ignore it until it's too late and they suffer liver damage. I'm a huge fan of liver support and loving your liver because most people's livers today are toast. There's a lot of natural foods that have all the nutrients that your liver needs to repair itself. So today I'm gonna cover the top 10 foods that help to protect your liver, why it's so important to care for your liver and also how to cleanse this master organ. So let's jump into it. So number one is broccoli sprouts. These are my favorite. I grow them myself. I put them in all my food. I put them in tacos. I put them in salads. I eat them by themselves. They're amazing. And they're the number one detox food on the planet because they have a nutrient in them called sulforaphane. And that helps to break down toxins, make them water soluble so your body can easily eliminate them. So number two is dandelion root. So dandelion root is a really powerful natural diuretic and it helps remove toxins from the liver. And some research even shows that dandelion root can help protect against damage from pain medications. A lot of people are taking Tylenol every day and Aleve and even prescription medications. So dandelion root can help protect the damage that those medications may cause. So dandelion root can be eaten cooked or raw and it's full of vitamins that can help support liver function. Number one is vitamin E. The number one nutrient for your liver is vitamin E, super important, but it has to be a specific specific type that's in food, not typically the type that you supplement. So vitamin E is the master antioxidant in the body that helps the liver to detox. Dandelion root also has folate in it. It has vitamin K, it has vitamins A and C and other nutrients like B vitamins that help to support a healthy liver. So number three is milk thistle. So milk thistle acts kind of like a raincoat for the liver where it just helps to protect the liver from toxic elements. Uh, like medications or, or other things that people may be, you know, assaulting their liver with like alcohol or bad foods. And so milk thistle has an active ingredient called silymarin. Silymarin is a really wonderful compound. It's anti-inflammatory. It's a powerful antioxidant. It stabilizes and regenerates liver cell membranes. And if that's not enough proof, milk thistle has also been shown in studies to increase the longevity and survival time of people with alcohol-related liver disease, and it may even protect against liver cancers. So number four is burdock root. So this root is really rich in quercetin, which is an antioxidant that helps protect your liver function. It eliminates free radicals and helps protect from oxidative damage. And what I love about burdock root is it can be especially effective if you already suffer from liver damage. And it helps reduce inflammation from conditions like fibrosis and chronic liver disease. Number five is turmeric. So turmeric has so many different benefits for the liver. I especially love fermented turmeric and it helps to improve liver function in many different ways. What I love about turmeric is you can use it in so many different types of foods you can use it in curries, you can put it in chai tea lattes, you can put it in rice. I make an awesome rice dish flavored with turmeric. And so turmeric helps reduce inflammation in your body, including your liver. Number six is beets. Beets are known around the world to help liver function. And the reason they help is because they increase the production of enzymes in the phase two detox pathway of the liver, which helps to eliminate toxins essentially like taking the garbage out of the body. Research also shows that beets help to prevent toxic overload in the body by facilitating liver function. So try adding them to salads. You can roast them as well. I, I love eating beets. I love drinking beet juice. Also, beet juice is a regular part of my health routine to support a healthy liver. Number seven is shajandra berry. It's a really awesome berry that has a lot of antioxidant benefits. So studies confirm that shajandra berry lowers ALT and AST levels, which are enzymes notoriously associated with liver dysfunction. And at the same time, these berries increase liver protecting enzymes, which is a good sign for liver health. 
So Shizander berries can be just eaten by themselves. They can be bought in powdered form. They can be added to smoothies, added to teas, and even added to your meals. Number eight is parsley. So parsley is 50 times more nutritious than lettuce. I'm always sure to add a little bit of parsley to my juices to give my liver a little boost. The antioxidants in parsley help to protect liver cells and also have an anti-inflammatory effect. In addition, parsley can help remove the toxic metal cadmium that finds its way into our body in the air, food, and water. So that's another added benefit. And by the way, there's so many different toxins in our environment. It's really hard to just express, you know, how many we're ingesting in the air, food, and water. So I have a separate video about that. And so you might be surprised at the amount of toxic food you're consuming already. And if you're brave enough to find out which ones they are, check out my video in the link above, the top 10 most dangerous foods in the world. So next step is one of the healthiest fruits on the planet that helps your liver. Number nine on our list is pomegranate. So it should come as no surprise the deep purple color of pomegranates has an antioxidant called anthocyanins, which is one of the most potent antioxidants in the world. Research confirms pomegranates are great for our liver, protecting it against oxidative damage and preventing chronic liver disease and dysfunction. I always recommend pomegranates because they're crucial for or phase one liver detox, where your liver breaks down all these toxic compounds and turns them into safer compounds. And that helps your body's detox processes run more smoothly. So you can have pomegranates as a snack. I love juicing pomegranates and drinking the juice. It's easier to buy it at the store because it's kind of a pain to make them. You can add them to smoothies. You can even add them to the little pomegranate seeds, to your salads as well. Number 10 is Moringa. So I love Moringa. I spent the summer in Bali and I had, they just eat uh, Moringa as kind of a side vegetable there. I had Moringa soups and I had stir fried Moringa. I had Moringa salad. I was just Moringa, Moringa, Moringa. <laughs> It was like, it was amazing. It's been around for centuries. It's been used as a healing food for the liver. It's super, super rich in antioxidants. And it's made my list because it's super potent for liver health. It does wonders for the liver in dozens of ways by protecting and regenerating liver cell membranes, reducing inflammation and reducing fat accumulation around the liver. There's 100 million people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So Moringa to the rescue. Another thing that I love about Moringa is it can help protect kidney function, which is another really important detox organ. I won't go into details, but it's really healthy for the kidneys as well. You probably never heard of some of these foods, but if you're really looking into supporting your liver function and hopefully you've been watching my videos and learning how important it is to protect your liver and to nourish your liver, check out some of these foods and try adding them to your diet. Whether you recently have a liver disease diagnosis or you're just looking for prevention or improved detoxification, then you wanna add some of these foods to your diet to keep your liver in top shape. So while it might be tempting to just eat these foods and have that be your liver saving grace, there's a lot of different things you can do to support your liver function. And I go into detail about all of these in my new program, it's the 14 day liver rehab cleanse. And we go over so many different things that you can do to support support your liver. And I created this course because I'm very passionate about educating people about the importance of protecting your master organ. Your body cannot be healthy unless your liver is functioning on a high level. So in this course of 14 day liver rehab cleanse, you can get the link below to learn more about it. We go into, you know, all the different, you know, nutrients you can take for your liver, all of the different ways of like protocols you can help to support your liver like uh, we go into castor oil packs, we go into coffee enemas, we go into liver and gallbladder flushes in detail on how to do them. And I have about nine different experts that I interview that go into this. It's really an amazing education on everything you need to know about protecting and supporting your liver for life. Another way you can support your liver is with my daily detox, 100% organic green superfoods. It contains most of the foods mentioned in this video, but many of them are also fermented. Like it has fermented turmeric, fermented beets, fermented broccoli sprouts, making the nutrients more available, giving your liver more benefits. So just check that out at the link below. And so no pressure to get any of these things. I just want to make you aware that I do have resources available to you. If you're really interested in going that next step to supporting your liver as much as possible.
Okay, so now let's recap. So liver support comes in all shapes and sizes from simple foods like parsley to lesser known foods like burdock root, but consuming these foods in your diet gives your body the nutrients it needs to support liver function. So I dare you, I challenge you to try at least four foods from this list and add them every week to your diet and rotate them. Just try a couple new foods every week and see if you like them. So your liver does so many different functions in your body. And by adding some of these 10 foods into your diet, you get a lot of benefits, including better sleep, less fatigue, reduced mood swings, less chemical sensitivity, improved hormone balance, digestion, and even weight loss. So you really can't go wrong. There's no downside to this. Just try these foods. Believe me, it's worth it. So thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you on the next video.